You can actually see the rings on the tree as well, so I mean, if you wanted to, you could count how old this tree is. Just one ring equals one year, so if you want, pause the video and count how old this tree is. Hey guys, what's up? Jordan here with TG and Minecraft, and today I'm doing a texture pack review on the LB Photo Realism Pack. And this is a very nice texture pack. It is a high resolution with a resolution of 256 by 256. And so I have a little world here which I downloaded, which is just going to show off all of the um, blocks that are in within Minecraft and just, you know, show you around the general look and feel of things. So this is your ordinary smooth stone, and you obviously, if most of you play default, then you'll obviously know what this looks like. As, as most of the blocks, it does have a lot more detail to it, as you can see. Uh, it looks a little less pixelated when you get up close. You can see there is some intricate detail in there. Same with the dirt and grass blocks. Actually, they are grass blocks. Never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, like you can, it's actually that high res. You can actually kind of see the grass, like the uh, blades of grass on the top. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got the cobblestone, which again, very detailed. You can see all of the the different parts of the stone where like it all grooves in, kind of. If you can see that in the video and yeah I do really like this texture pack it's very detailed it's very uh, high res here you have the wooden planks and I like this I, this is probably one of the things I like the most about this texture pack the wood it makes it look very nice for if you're building say porches or any kind of wooden house really it just gives it a nice wooden feel to it a nice look and yeah it's very good for designing this texture pack I think and uh, there is a lot of stuff that could look good with it Bedrock, obviously, a lot different from the plain black and grey kind of block. Uh, looks very cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of what coal would look like, if you can picture that. But very cool. Sand is not really much different to the sand, but obviously it is a bit more high res. You can kind of see there's like the ripples in the sand where it goes along. So yeah, that's quite cool. Again, very detailed. And you probably do need quite, well, you do need a good computer to run this. But, you know, if you've got a... PC within say the last couple of years or uh, like the year or so then you got nothing to worry about and then we've got gravel this is actually very nice you can see all the like little stones and rocks within the block so I kinda like that it's a nice little touch that they've made to the texture pack here you have your ores so here we'll start with gold ore and basically it's it's the same kind of principle pull as default or oh, as any texture pack you know it's just got a uh, like the kind of picture if you will on the um, on the block itself indicating what it is and it looks very nice again it's a lot more detailed than and this is probably one of the best texture packs you'll see because it is a photorealism pack and it's it's it is very good I do recommend this texture pack here we have iron ore again not nothing really much to say on the ores to be honest they they're just detailed you know uh, it's a similar kind of colors just more resolution like uh, you can actually see there's like actually detail on them instead of it just being like squares or little rectangles of colours. So that's kinda nice. And I do like the coal as well. Remember this is what I was on about how the coal looks a bit like the bedrock. Uh well it looks lighter but you can kinda see what I'm talking about. Again very detailed. You can actually see the coal it, it kinda looks a little like it's sticking off the block a bit. So yeah that's nice. Then you got the logs and this is actually really cool. As you can see you can see all the like the bark which uh, goes up on the tree, like you can see where it splits off. You can actually see the rings on the tree as well, so I mean, if you wanted to, you could count how old this tree is. Just one ring equals one year, so if you want, pause the video and count how old this tree is. <laughs> uh, then we have the pine wood. Again, it's basically the same as any of the logs. You'll be able to see the bark a lot better. And it's obviously more detailed. You see like, all the grooves and the lines, and you can count the rings again. So if you want to see how long this tree lived for, then pause the video here. This is the birch wood, and again, you can, if you wish, you can see how old it is. Probably not, you're probably bored of that by now. But again, you can see all the detail, and it does look, if you go up close enough to it, uh, I can't really get a good example, here we go. It does look very good, I can, uh, I can tell it looks a bit pixelated when you're this close up, but it does look very, uh, as the texture pack states, photorealistic, so yeah, good job on that. <laughs> Sorry for sniffling. Uh, then you've got your leaves. I'm on fancy. I don't know if it changes if we are on fast. Um, I'm not going to try that out, but you can try that out yourself if you download this pack. And so it does add a lot more detail to the foliage and stuff. You know, it makes it look like leaves instead of just blocks. <laughs> then you've got your sponge, which obviously, if you know what a sponge looks like, has like the holes and stuff, and it's all yellow, so 
Yeah, it's kind of represents a sponge, I guess. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. I'm just I'm having a bit of a cold lately, and it's kind of annoying. But anyway, let's move on. Glass, and I do really like the glass. It's basically it's got a nice black frame around it, which looks very nice, very slick, and it's perfectly transparent. It's not like the default texture pack where the glass has lines going through it, so it's very nice. I do like it. Lapis, again, another R. You can just see it all. You can see its details, and then here's the lapis block. Very nice, actually. I like this block. I like blue. Blue's my favourite colour. Just a uh, little, little knowledge about me there. Uh, here's your sandstone, and this actually looks very nice. It just looks a bit like cobble, uh, but, well, yellow. Uh, that's probably the best way I can describe it, but it looks very nice, actually. I do like it. You could make some good pyramids out of this stuff. It looks awesome. And here you've got your wools. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get the names all right for them, but I'll try. So we have white wool. Orange wool. <laughs> Is that purple or magenta? Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop right there. You can see for yourself. Here are the wools. It looks very, very nice. You can see all the details. You can see the lines going up on the actual wool. And you can see, like, it almost looks as if you can see the strands of the wool. That is how detailed this texture pack is. It's very nice. Here we have the gold blocks. And it actually looks, it looks like pure metal. And you can see, like, there's, like, nails, like, holding it all together. So that looks pretty cool. It kind of sounds like if you hit it, it'd, like, make a bong bong noise. <laughs> Here you have your diamond blocks. And this looks very cool, actually. Like, you can see all, like, the diamonds, like, splitting off on it. And it also makes it a lot more e uh, noticeable, say if you're digging out in caves and stuff, sometimes you don't always notice it. I'm sure you would notice this. Here you have your iron block again, it's basically a silver version of the gold block, but still looks very nice, it it holds true to its name, you know, it, it does resemble the default, but it's just a bit more detailed, you know, and you can see all the nails and stuff. Ugh, Jesus, I cannot shake this cold. Then here we have our half steps, or slabs, so these are obviously stone slabs. And then these are your sandstone slabs, uh, they basically are half a sandstone block, and these, well, that's just, they have a different texture to stone, but they look very nice. And you could make some nice stuff with these. Then again you have your plank, uh, your wooden slabs, which again is basically just a wooden plank split into two. And you could make some nice things, you could make say a kitchen, or a porch, or any kind of thing like that. Then you have your cobble slabs, which again is just cobble split into two. Then we have our bricks, and this is very nice, actually, this is very detailed. You can actually see where the bricks, like, uh, separate, and, like, you can see the cement linings between each one, which is really good. I do like this. It's it's very intricate. If you, Obviously, if you go closer, it does look more pixelated, but from a fair distance, like, even from here, it does look very good. Don't punch! Uh, yeah, this map was made a bit ago. <laughs> so here the TNT, and it's cool, because you can actually see... If you can see that, it actually says TNT on the sticks. It looks like dynamite to me. And yeah, it reminds me of kind of like those old western movies. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Here we have bookshelves. And this is actually very cool. It's basically like uh, they've got wooden planks or, yeah, wooden planks on like one surface. And then they've got books on the other. And it's very cool because like if I come around to the side, you can actually see all the separate books. While as in the default, they look kind like you can tell the books, but they, they just basically look like one big rectangular of the same colour, or maybe two colours. But here you can t clearly distinguish a difference between them all. You can see all the details, like uh, like the linings on the books and stuff. And like here, you can see it's like curved on its side, kind of. So it looks kind of nice. Here we have our mossy stone, our mossy yeah mossy stone, and it's basically cobblestone with vines growing on it. And again, this looks nice. The vines look nice. Obsidian, again, this just reminds me of a purple version of the bedrock, uh, but it looks kind of cool, actually. It looks a lot cooler than the default, and it looks like you could make something cool with it, actually, or, like if you were building a survival map or something. Here you have your steps, you all know what steps look like, and these are very cool, too, like you can make chairs out of them. I don't I don't like these as much as the default stairs, too, if I'm honest, but they do look very detailed, and I do like them, uh, just not as much, but that's just me. And you've got your cobble steps, which I'm pretty sure would be fairly uncomfortable if you were to sit on it. It would hurt. And we're almost near the end. We're getting around there. We're getting there. Here we have Diamond Door, which is just like the other ours. Then we have Farmland, which we saw at the beginning. Uh, let me go ahead, and if I break one, as you can see, this is just normal dirt. But it looks kind of cool. You can see all like the mud and the uh, soil and stuff going all around it, so it looks kind of nice. And if we go this way... 
we have our flowers, our roses, and our daisies, or sunflowers, or whatever you want to call them. They look very nice. You can see all the petals coming off of them and the leaves and everything. So they look kind of cool. Here we have our redstone ore, and some wild grass, if you're interested in that kind of stuff. If you like your wild grass. Here we have ice, which I actually really like, the ice in this texture pack. It's very, it's kind of opaque, like it's transparent, but not totally. Like, you can't perfectly see through it, but it is very nice, I do like it. And it is kind of an interesting building design, like, if you wanted to use it. Here we have snow, which is, it kind of just looks a lot to me like the white wool, but slightly paler. And obviously, if you go close to it, you can't see the strands, but it does look nice. It does actually look a lot like snow. <laughs> obviously, right? Uh, with a photorealism texture pack, you would expect such things. Uh, here we have clay, which, again, looks very nice. It's pretty plain, but, you know, it's detailed. Well, forget what I just said, because I said it's plain, but then I said it's detailed. So I kind of contradicted myself there. But yeah, it looks nice, and it's a lot better than default, obviously. Here we have Neverack, and I really like this, actually. This also looks really cool. I can imagine just walking around the Never, and yeah, it looks pretty cool, pretty chill. Here we have Soul Sand, which... Kind of looks like it looks like you can see a face. It looks very detailed. You can see all of like the lines going through it, and there it looks like there's a face. That's creepy looking. But anyway, let's head around here, and we're almost there. We're getting there. So here we have glowstone. Pretty much just pure yellow. It looks like it's kind of got dirt on it, but it is very intricate. It's very nicely done, and as always, you can see like the grooves on it, like going around there and stuff, and like you can see the occasional like stones in it and stuff. So it's very nice. Here we have our saplings, and we also have a tree, uh, birchwood I believe this is, or birk, I'm not too sure. Uh, here are the dead shrubs, which you will find in desert biomes. And again, these look very, uh, these look very intricate and very well designed. You can see the twigs and stuff separating and branching out. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool how they've managed to actually make something so detailed. And then we're getting there. And if you would just excuse me to, as to turn it to day, sorry about this, but... It's for the sake of the video, so hope you don't mind. Here we have mobs in spawners. So as you can see, well, you can't really see totally because for some reason it's not spawning, but here you can see what the basic spawners look like. And it is raining, so please give me a moment. Okay, the rain has stopped. Sorry about that again. And, yeah, so as you can see, you can see the spider kind of spinning around there. But it looks very cool. And also, as you can notice here, the fences. The fences look detailed as well. I really like the fences. And the spawners are also quite nice. It just looks like a bit like the glass, actually. Just with some extra, like, framing going around and the flames going through. Here we have the note blocks, if I hit it. Okay, I can't make music, I'm not going to lie, I'm not very good at making music. But there's the note blocks, it looks very nice. Kind of reminds me of those old stereos, like, speaker systems that you got. It looks very nice, it looks kind of, like, 80s style, but it looks cool. Then here we have the jukeboxes, which again, it... Well, it's basically one of these flipped on its side, isn't it? But, uh, obviously with the little socket in the top, where you can, obviously, put your stuff in, your music. And as before, we have the fences, which I already showed off. Dispensers, which basically look a bit uh, very similar, just obviously a lot more detailed. You can see the stonework that's in it, and you can kind of uh, distinguish the uh, colours more. And just, you know, it just looks a whole lot more detailed. There's really not much to say on that, it just looks detailed. Here we have the water, which again is very nice. You can see all the ripples in the water, and you can actually see little, like, uh, rain droplets, if you will, of it, and you can actually see as well how the water looks a lot more like it's flowing as compared to default, it looks very nice and very natural. Same with the lava, it looks a lot more, it looks a lot more, uh, what am I trying to say, a lot more natural, It's uh, it still stays true, like it spits out the fireballs and stuff, and if you look at it, it, it kind of, like, you'll notice it like shimmers or like shakes, and imagine, say, if you're looking, say, uh, through a heat wave, like say a candle or a candle flame or something, it kind of gives off that kind of feeling, you know, where you can see, you can so you can tell the heat's coming off of it. Here we have the crafting tables on the workbench, and I like how you can see the tools on the side. You've got your chainsaw and you've got your hammer, which is very nice and very detailed, and then it's got the bit on top, and yeah, it's very nice. Got chests. And it also, it actually looks like there's a padlock on it, which is very nice, and it's, the woodwork is detailed, the framing is detailed, the lighting's glitching out a little bit though. <laughs> and it still has the animation for opening up and everything, so that's cool. Then we have our furnaces, and which look very cool actually, except I don't, I'm not too sure on this brick kind of thing behind the furnaces, but, uh, because why would you have bricks in your furnace? Well, then again, you do smell bricks, so, eh, what am I to say? <laughs> Here we have redstone torches, which basically they're just the same as these torches, except with red on the top, and they give off red instead of flames. 
Uh, a pressure plate, basically just a wooden slab, but smaller. <laughs> we have a lava, uh, a lava, a lever, or a lever, depending on where you're from. And we have a, a stone pressure plate. And then if we move on to here, we have all the paintings, which as you can see, uh, none of them are the same as default. And they do look very nice, look very detailed, and they're, they're probably actual imported uh, pictures. But they do look nice, and if I just take a moment to fly up slowly, uh, as slowly as I can, you can see the pictures, and it looks very nice. And look, as you can see, it looks very detailed. And look, you've got the uh, the final dinner, or the last supper, as I believe it's called. Sorry if I'm wrong, but correct me if so. And yeah, the paintings look very nice, especially this one. I like this one. So yeah, these paintings would be very nice in your home, probably. Then here we have ladders, and obviously just more detail. You can see like the kind of ropes. Uh, that are keeping it together and we have a nether portal here which obviously is obsidian then we just have the portal in the middle blowing in all the particles and the particles look very nice actually you can see you can clearly see like the detail on them here we have a brewing stand and sorry about that little cut there again but uh, I gotta do what I gotta do so here's the brewing stand you can give, see the little particles this is also giving off and it's just very nice you know and there's not really much to say in that. The cauldron, again, very similar, except you can see the nails. The nails, uh, like, keeping it together, the framework and stuff. And then finally we have the end frame. Well, not finally, we do have a few more stuff to show off. And then we have the end of frame, which looks very nice. It looks detailed, you can see clearly see all the framing around it. And then if we head off to this direction, over yonder, we have fire! Which is pretty detailed, as you can probably tell, without tell. And yeah, it's giving off a lot of smoke, and from a distance, the smoke looks very nice, so it's a nice effect. Here we have cobwebs, which are basically just the same, but you know, it's a lot more detailed, and you can clearly distinguish where it's separating. Here we have redstone, redstone torches, uh, powered redstone, redstone repeaters, and it's pretty much similar to default, you know, just a bit more high res, a bit more detailed. That's basically what we want here. We have the beds again, basically similar, but you know, just a, high, more, a more high res, and you can kind of see like the strands along the duvet. So yeah, that's pretty nice. We have our minecarts, uh, we have a minecart with a chest, a standard minecart, and a minecart with a furnace. So yeah, that's basically what a minecart looks like, just default, but with, uh, you can kind of see the wheels properly. You can see the nailing that's been done to keep it together. And then we have the doors. So we have your iron and wooden door. And I like this because you can see the keyhole, you can see the handles and everything clearly. And you've got a nice little viewing window between it. And with the iron one, it's nice because it's got a nice little viewing window which kind of makes it give that bunker kind of feeling, if you will. Here we have trap doors, which kind of look like a waffle, if I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but they look they look cool. Uh, just, ve again, very detailed. You can see the framing going around it as well. We have pumpkins, which are kind of cool, actually. I like the pumpkins because it gives it as if it's already been carved. And it gives off a little bit of light as well. So that's really nice. I do like that. And it's a bit detailed, as you can see. It gives off, like, the sides. Like, I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty nice. Here we have cake. You can clearly tell it's a lot more high res. I mean, obviously, right, you, if you're playing Minecraft, you, wanna, you want to have cake. And you can see the little cherry on top. You can see the whipped cream going around. And you can see the chocolatey fudge on the bottom. <laughs> Uh, here we have the wheat, uh, again, it looks very nice, if you had a mod where, say, the wheat was waving, then it would look pretty cool, blowing in the wind, but you can clearly see where all the blades of, like, the wheat comes off and separates, it's very detailed, same with the uh, crops, here, it looks very nice, and finally, we have the cacti, which is very detailed, you can see, you can definitely see all the little, like, pricks that come off of it, and all the little details into it, and the different shades of green, and it's very nice. So I'm going to come up onto my viewing platform over here, and we will take a little look around yonder. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this texture pack review, guys. I know it's pretty long, but I hope you enjoyed it. It did show off all of the blocks as far as I'm aware. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I will be sure to add them in the next video. But I hope you enjoyed this texture pack review, guys. If you did, then please consider giving this video a like. And also leave a comment down in the description in, in the comments below. Also, if you want more videos such as this, then do come check out my personal channel. There'll be a link in the description to that channel and as well as this texture pack. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, that's pretty much it. So yeah, take it easy, guys. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.